Hey guys! I'm here today to talk about Stitch Fix. Um, it's something that I normally really enjoy finding on my front porch when I come home. Um, I normally unpack it as soon as I um, get home because Stitch Fix is something um, similar to Thread Beast. You fill out a survey and you kind of tell them what you like, what you don't like. Um, the things that you like to wear um, and then it's a surprise you get the box and you open it up I'm usually really excited I unpack it as soon as I get here um, this box has been sitting here for a week and I haven't opened it I was really looking forward to unpacking it um, in a video and um, things have just been crazy it's been the last week of school um, kind of tidying things up in that area finishing up with some appointments and some work things um, and so this box has been sitting here and so just to kind of um, go over how Stitch Fix works typically you have a grace period of about three or four days to decide what you like inside your box um, you pay $20 um, per box basically they they charge you $20 um, you can determine how frequently you get your box and you can cancel anytime and then you that is deducted they send you your box and then you basically need to go through your stuff and look at it so my box has been sitting here and I recently got an email like hello do you like your stuff and I have not even looked at it because I really wanted to do it with you all so um, this is basically the way your box comes. It typically comes in a box about this size. Um, and it's just sitting on your porch and it's so exci exciting for me when I get it. Um, it's typically packaged really nice. Um, uh, it's, it's always funny. Um, I, I did take the tape off, but I have not opened anything. Um, it's always funny. The instructions are right there for you when you um, open it up. It just tells you kind of what to do in case you were to forget. Um, they're they're very very. I'm sorry for bumping that. Um, inside Stitch Fix boxes, um, there are differences in the boxes, and that was one reason why I kind of wanted to do this comparison um, it was one of my things I kind of wanted to do um, my son did the thread beast tutorial or he wanted to review his thread beast box um, and just talk about the differences thread beast you do go on you do um, fill out your favorite your favorite colors what brands you like what stores you shop at um, what sizes you wear obviously and stuff like that you do the same thing with stitch fix and um, <clears throat> they send you stuff like that, that they cater to you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The difference is Threadbeast does not allow you to return your items. Once you get your box, you have it. You have all of your items. You can't return your stuff. Stitch Fix does allow you. They send you, um, this is included in your in your box. And so whatever you don't like, you just send them back. You're not charged for it. Um, and so that is one one difference between the, those subscription boxes. So I've opened my box and this is what the contents look like. Um, I've never had this inside my box before. Um, typically my box just looks like this on the inside. And so I'm already little. My interest is pink. Um, so this is a linen, little linen bag, which is different. Um, this is what it looks like. And obviously I'm excited about it. Um, and they are shoes. Steve Madden sandals. Leather. They are my size. They're very nice. Very, very nice. Um, trying to see if I can give you, there we go. Some more detail on them. They are kind of a cream color with like a, um, like a cracked detail on them. They're very nice. I like them a lot. 
Um, so yeah, they want you to basically, this is the first time I've ever gotten shoes. Um, so it's just kind of something that is that, like I said, at random, um, you, you kind of just get what you get and they break down in price. Another thing about Stitch Fix, um, you can at any time go on and say what you're sending me costs too much. I'd like for you to um, lower, you know, my boxes are costing a little too much and they'll send you, you know, cheaper stuff or um, I don't like the fit of some of the stuff you're sending me or, you know, anything like that. So you can definitely go on and adjust your accounts. Um, you also have that with Threadbeast. You can go on anytime and say, I like this brand, I don't like this brand. Um, you're sending me this type of stuff, you're not sending me this type of stuff. Um, so that is, you do have that flexibility with, with both accounts. Um, so then, like I said, typically, always, um, this is, ah, I dropped the box. This is how everything is always comes with Stitch Fix, which is, they do put a lot of care into their stuff. It's always rolled in paper with a sticker. Um, which is nice so that nothing is shifting around and, um, you know, inside the box and shipping. So, right on top, um, everything also has its own tag. Some things are original to Stitch Fix, um, some brands. Some brands I've noticed, I've tried to look up and see if I can find them in other um, colors and other sizes and other fits and I've noticed that they are original to Stitch Fix but um, right right on, on top is um, uh, a beige kind of off-white like a work blouse um, the brand is 41 Hawthorne and it's a size medium um, it's really pretty. It's a very pretty blouse. Um, it has a kind of like a plunge neck. With um, an under an under tank underneath it. And in the back it has a tie. I'm sure you can still see that. So that's really pretty. Um, I my account is set to I like a mix of work items and um, other stuff because I I like to work and I like to party. <laughs> so um, that's kind of that's kind of what I do. Um, I like to mix it up. I just really thought it was important to know, you know, if for people who have never tried either of these, what comes, because a lot of people are scared. Also, this shirt, uh, or this, this blouse, it does open all the way down, but it has this really nice, which is cotton, totally cotton underneath. Um, so this looks like it would be a really cool, cool as in temperature. <laughs> Um, breezy tank um, or flowy cool tank underneath but very flowy top so that is one piece I'm trying to see the best way that we can hang these a lot of these pieces that I have hanging back here are from um, from former boxes the second top um, is gorgeous. This color is very, very pretty, and I love, it's very in style. It's a size medium. The brand is Collective Concepts. Um, the sleeves have a tie. One thing I will tell you that I've returned stuff for, even though I've liked the top, is um, frayed stitching. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can really see it. Oh, there we go. 
Um, it's something that you can fix yourself. It's something that um, some people may say it might be petty um, if you really like the top. Um, what it all comes down to is if you are willing to pay the price that they're asking for something that is um, sewn or, or, you know, missown. Um, I certainly could probably just trim that myself. Um, what, like I said, what it boils down to is when I sit down and look at numbers, if I'm willing to pay that for um, what it costs. And they give you a spot to tell them why you're sending it back. And I do. I make comments and I just say, like, it was frayed in a certain area or the stitching was off or the stripes don't. Because ultimately when you're paying a lot of money, you do want to get something that has good quality. Um, so I, I just tell them in the comment section. Um, but I do think the little tie sleeves are cute. I love the um, kind of uh, stitching around the bottom and how it's um, got the elastic waistline, how it kind of ruffles up right there. It's really flattering. Um, it has snaps, which I will say you would need to be careful undoing. And so that one snap undoes, kind of unbuckles it all. So that would be really pretty with um, a really, well, multiple different color tanks, but because um, it's not quite sheer, but it has a little bit of a sheer to it but I think these are really really pretty colors it does have um, some pull not quite pleating but some gathering in the back so this is a really pretty top every box does come with a style card um, that shows you different ways that you can wear um, the pieces with other things like different skirts different different pants that aren't in the box okay this top is a j crew top it's a medium um it's a very very cute work top um i probably need to update some of my preferences uh my prior employment was a little bit more dressy currently teaching i don't get quite as dressed up and um because these kids will wear me ragged. This is a gorgeous top. Um, it has a tie around the neckline. And I'm really not doing it justice. Let me just put it on my marker. Um, this would be gorgeous with a blazer. The way this is positioned, it would almost tie to the side. In a bow, they have it tied in a bow. Again, it's it's a little sheer, um, but it's a nude color. So with a nude bra, you wouldn't necessarily see the bra, depending upon your work environment. Um, you may want to wear something underneath it. It has a little slight. If I hold up the bow. It has um, one button and then a little slight peephole there. And it's a little pulled, a little gathered, so that it'll have this a ruffle there. Or not a ruffle, but it'll pull and have like a little cinch. Um, that's a gorgeous top. It's a J. Crew top. Um, all of these pieces average on the um, card around $59. Um, again, it comes down to about what you you're willing to spend um, and lastly we have the brand Erica Taylor again pant size I liked I like to know a number pant size not necessarily small medium large because um, I'm a woman and I feel like you need to know 
your size. Um, but it says size medium. Again, the brand is Eric Taylor. And these are what I would consider a work pant. They're uh, almost a ponty knit. Um, in fact, if I could find some, it's a straight leg, but um, they're a multiple material. Kind of a ponty knit mix with a nylon. But they're a stretch. Um, they do feel like they would be comfortable. Um, they're a navy. Um, they do have an it seems to me so far they they do like to send you pieces that seem to accent each other now this is a black and kind of a pink top but these pants would go well with these other two pieces so um and obviously the sandals um you could kind of do um so in this box we had three tops of pair of pants and the sandals um they do send jewelry. I have not gotten a piece of jewelry yet. Um, this is probably my, I do buy monthly boxes. Um, I was doing monthly boxes. I just chose to, to switch to buy monthly. Um, just because obviously, well, quite frankly, I have too many clothes. Um, and I need to purge some, some, some stuff. Um, but I do enjoy getting fresh stuff. I do enjoy um, getting stuff that's not in the stores everywhere that everyone doesn't have. I like um, getting things that um, are fresh looks that I know someone else is kind of styling. You do have a stylist. You do have someone that's kind of looking at what you've chosen that you like and um, that are, that's putting things together for you. And so I do like that idea, that concept. You do have um, someone that emails you um, leading right up until the time, the date that your your package is going to come. And they say, okay, you know, do you have any changes that you want to make? Do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, they have separates, which are undergarments um, that you can add to your box. And so... I do like the idea of a subscription box and so that is something that I did kind of want to share and put out there and that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do these reviews is to kind of give an idea of some of the pieces that I have been happy with and that I do like um, the things that I do like about the boxes. Um, I have shared my subscriptions and my coupon codes with friends who love it and are using it and the good thing about it is that you can use it only once every three months or then change your mind and use it once a month or you know cut it off anytime a thing about stitch fix is they apply your twenty dollars toward your whatever you choose to buy. So if you only wanted this polka dot shirt, then if the shirt was $50, um, your $20 would go towards that. So it's not a waste. Um, again, you know, your postage is paid for anything that you want to send back. Um, so it's almost like just having shopping in your house and you know, you're getting to kind of try on, it's like dress up, <laughs> try on, try on some new things and kind of look and see what fresh ideas there are out there. Some things that you might not think about if you were out in the stores or try for yourself. Kind of breaking out of your box. Um, again, one of the differences between Threadbeast, well for one, I liked the idea of there being something for men and guys out there. But Threadbeast, I have found, is a little bit of a cheaper uh, box. They're 
price range seems to be on the lower end, um, around $65 um, to up around $120. However, um, you can't return anything. So that being said, you know, you're going to, I feel like you're going to spend that if you go and buy several pieces of clothing for your son or for your husband or, you know, your significant other or your brother, your husband, your nephew, um, it, it all adds up very quickly. And again, that's something you can cancel anytime. And, um, they are constantly sending me emails for promotions that they're doing. And, um, I, I just, you know, I feel like it's, it's something that you, we all can, can try and, um, and, and use. So this was just, um, this was my June box and I was very happy to finally open it. I have never gotten a pair of shoes and so I, I can't wait to try them on and, and see how they feel. I'll, um, actually be trying everything on, trying to figure out what I'm going to keep, but I definitely wanted to, um, open that up and share with you some of the things that I like about Stitch Fix. I will um, put some coupon codes at the end and some links at the end of this video. And um, obviously, if you have any questions, I know this video probably was a little bit long. I definitely didn't have time to gather thoughts and, and anything together. It's certainly not formal. It just was really fly by the seat of my pants and throw, throw some things together. But um, that was the June box. And probably since they threw some shoes in, it was a little less. There are usually a couple more items, but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope to be reviewing next. Um, I think next I'm going to do um, fashion on a thrift store budget. Um, I do a lot of thrift store shopping, and like I said, I have a lot of a lot of clothes. I've always had it for clothes. Um, so I think I'm going to do, being a high school teacher, I have students who don't have a lot. And um, when I was in the law field, I represented clients who had nothing and I often would show up and um, have to provide them with stuff. So I personally know what it's like to not have stuff. So I, um, I can, I can ball on a budget. And so I think I'm going to review next, um, shopping, thrift store shopping, balling on thrift store budget, um, and just having very little and being able to go in and put, put outfits together. So, um, I think that may be the next video, but thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Stitch Fix or Threadbeast or coupon codes for either, Red Beast is giving away $50 now um, in free merchandise. Um, I know that, and I have a coupon code for that. I can get Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix codes. <laughs> um, and just general questions in general about subscription boxes. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching.